We believe that each child is exceptional, and that belief permeates this place. We have one central purpose, and that is to challenge and empower students to be successful in any environment. My name is, so I look into the camera real quick, sorry. So hello, my name is Sebastian Alfonso, and this is my science for a project, the effect of global warming on the Earth's magnetic force. So for my seventh grade science expo, I wanted to explore the greenhouse effect on a smaller scale and a larger scale, more in the atmosphere. As we were redesigning our middle school program to include 7th and 8th grades, we were uh, just reminding ourselves of what the research was and what research has told us is that the very best middle school program has students meeting in an advisory situation at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. I think that advisory was created as a time to have the teachers really be able to know their students, to understand them as not just students but as people. After advisory, we all as a class go down to chapel. We sing some songs, and then we have a chapel lesson, which can be anything from honesty and the value of that core virtue, which is one of our nine core virtues of the school, or a current event. So quite frequently, they have an opportunity to stand in front of the whole school and speak. And they might be leading a lesson, doing a skit, presenting about a community service project. And so leadership, to me, means opportunity. If you're a good leader, the limits are basically endless. After chapel, we go to our first class. All of our classes are either an hour and 20 minutes, so a double period, or 40 minutes long. One of the markers of 21st century education is going to be around personalized learning, and I think the school has such an amazing opportunity to, to lead the way. And that the most essential part of it is, personalized learning is discovering the edges, the challenges that children have. So we call it edge work. And edge work is saying, you know, what, what challenges you? And, and, and how, if I can discover your edges, I can push you to that edge where now it's, you're a little uncomfortable, you're not quite sure what's gonna happen. And we know enough about brain research to know that that's where the learning happens. Technology has ignited our ability to personalize learning at St. Thomas School. Without it, we would still be attempting to do it, but we would not be able to go as deep or broad. Our partnership with Microsoft is really exciting because we've learned from them, they've learned from us. There are delegations from all around the world that come to see how we're using technology. In my math here, I rarely see a piece of paper. I download my worksheets, I work there. So a student might be doing a, a math assignment during class and a teacher could come in and write some comments in during class or maybe they write it after class and the student goes home and does homework and they're redirected to the right way of doing the lesson rather than finding out a week or two later. We have been personalizing the learning experience, I, I think, for quite a long time. It occasionally gets confused with individualized. We're not about trying to create this separate, isolated learning experience for every child, because we also believe very powerfully in collaborative learning. So it's not about everybody's working on their own. It's about understanding the challenges, and then almost more powerfully, where are your challenges similar to somebody else's challenges? How can I put you in a, in a really powerful learning team that not only am I the teacher going to challenge you, but now you're challenging each other. So the seventh and eighth grade get to participate in a master class. And those master classes can be a, are a huge range of opportunities. It's almost like an elective, except you go into depth and you have it twice a week for an hour and 20 minutes on Wednesday and Friday. In the beginning of the year, we started learning about kids' brain development. And our first project that we did was we got assigned to teach a, a short lesson. So for example, I taught a lesson about music to one of the younger classes at St. Thomas School. Every eighth grade class leaves something behind so that the school can recognize, oh, this is a class of 2015. And so what we're leaving behind is this amazing globe sculpture that we made in our master class. And it's kind of our, um, our gift to the school. 
So the whole of the student experience goes beyond academics and includes extracurriculars. That's engaging students in sports, clubs, we have drama productions, choir, dances. In addition, at St. Thomas School, student life is a global experience. During the third trimester, we take our eighth grade um, graduating class to Peru. And depending on the theme, depending on the year, we take them to different locations. It was an extraordinary trip, one that is a once in a lifetime experience. It allowed me as a writer to like let my emotions flow as I was seeing the different people and the different cultures. Because you could sit in a classroom for so many hours and try to conjugate a verb, but in reality, is that gonna help you relate to another human being? all through my years at St. Thomas, they have taught me that in order to be successful, you have to be courageous. Graduation is a really exciting time at St. Thomas School because it's a culmination of all the hard work the students have done. And all of our graduates will give a speech, and their speech really is their story. And each student will tell about their journey through St. Thomas and what they learned. Experiences came together, and much of what I had learned gelled and filled with purpose. The story of my parents and grandparents who left behind every possession and comfort for a life that would start again. The goal was exquisitely clear for them. Our children need a better place to grow and to lead their lives. Adelante aunque sea gateando. Forward, even if you're crawling. The St. Thomas kind of motto, I guess, is every child is exceptional. And that respect makes you feel exceptional. I realize the importance of aiming high. It is only by aiming high and setting difficult targets that you will accomplish meaningful goals. If we can create experiences where children leave the school and they have the solid academic foundation, they have courage, they've learned what it means to be a good person, then I think the students sort of take over and they, they create a culture that I think is really, I think, pretty remarkable. I would not have been able to grow these branches alone. I needed the people over the years to contribute to watering me with knowledge, shining sunlight of encouragement, and guarding the soil surrounding me to keep it nourished. There's no question that what we do every day, I mean, every conversation, is shaping lives, and that those children start impacting the world. What better job is there in terms of, you know, impacting the future? And so in my mind, I sometimes imagine you know, all those thousand little ripples that are out there. What are they moving forward?